Well, Bishop Crosby, thank you for taking time out of your very, very busy week as president of the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops to speak with us today, and welcome back to Salt and Light. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here, and uh, pleasure to have this opportunity to talk to you. Well, we're almost at the end of the week. Uh, how do you feel so far? Well, I still have lots of energy and, uh, and actually feel pretty good. It's been a, it's been a full week, very full. Uh, the agenda is, is heavy, uh, but the bishops have been they followed, they followed the orders and, uh, and uh, appeared on time for, for our meetings, and uh, it's been very interesting. Participated fully, so very good. And our viewers, they see some of the, uh, the events that go on in the big meeting hall. We broadcast a few of the big uh, uh, the major lectures sessions, and yes. sessions that, that have gone on. And then they've seen these kinds of interviews that we've done with some of the bishops. But there's a whole kind of behind the scenes element to being here at a plenary that a lot of the viewers don't see. And that's some of the fraternal moments. So just talk a little bit about that. I mean, that this, this time of week I know is very special for you all because you get to just be together socially as well. It's a, it is. It's, and for many bishops who come from, say, more isolated regions, uh, coming to the plenary is the only time in the year that they, they would experience, uh, you know, uh, the fraternal gathering of, of other bishops. And uh, so it, it's, that part's important. And so we, we, we do give time. To, well, we don't give a lot of time to it, but we do <laughs> give time. So the meals become very important, yeah. and, uh, and the prayer time becomes very important. And, uh, and so, and, and all are well prepared. All are prepared in advance. I mean, the, the and, and they've done a wonderful job here for us at Nav Canada in uh, in Cornwall. They, they, as far as the me, as far as the meals go, and the liturgy offices have prepared the the, the liturgies very well. We were, we were, we were at uh, Saint Croix Parish last night for and going through the Holy Door. That's right. We uh, broadcast that. Yes, a be and a beautiful, yeah. beautiful experience. A beautiful moment for us, uh, for us all as bishops. Now coming into the plenary, you mentioned there's so many things that you have to have to talk about, but uh, what was a, you know what was a key thing when you think about something that you, that you guys really well, needed to deal with? There'd be a, there'd be a few key things. I mean, I, I think the major the major presentation uh, was done by Cardinal Willem Eich of uh, Utrecht in the Netherlands, and uh, his presentation on euthanasia and assisted suicide, which we are dealing with. Uh, not only on the on the uh, the whole idea of, and he's a physician, so he has a lot of, uh, say, inside understanding of, of the whole the whole issue, but also the pastoral uh, responses. You know that that uh, priests are going to have may well have, you know, when dealing with uh, families, helping families understand what this is about and how, and all the pastoral issues around how do we how do we deal with you know how do we how do we attend to care for people who are in this process of thinking and what happens when and yeah. trying to find ways of responding in, in a pastoral way and 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 through the you know th th according to the teaching of the church right now looking forward uh, you have another year as the as the president of the CCCB uh, What's something that you're looking forward to that's on the, on the well, calendar? Well, you know, an interesting thing that, that we, we, we talked today, uh, Bishop Chaplin is, chairs a, a, a committee, a small subcommittee of the, of the conference, uh, and they're talking about ways of the, the church in the south of Canada supporting the church in the north of Canada, the various dioceses, northern dioceses the, that are now uh, part of the, the whole church. They're not considered missionary dioceses anymore and uh, they are part of the, the the whole church of canada and we're and we're looking forward to finding ways of developing strengthening the relationship between the southern dioceses and the north northern diocese and you know I, i'm the bishop of hamilton and uh, so we've been assigned or it's it's proposed that we would work more closely with the diocese of churchill hudson bay and the other dioceses have the same kind of, you know, everyone's been kind of given. Matched up. Matched up, yeah. yes. <laughs> and it's, it's uh, so I, I think that's going to be an exciting thing. I yeah, look forward to much. meeting with uh, Bishop Krotke and uh, St. Catherine's uh, Bishop Burgi and I will meet with Bishop Krotke and talk about ways that we might be able to uh, support and encourage the mission and ministry in, in, uh, in the Diocese of Churchill, Hudson Bay. And not just with priest personnel or finances, but 
there might be other creative ways that we can, you know, maybe twinning parishes. I don't know. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll have to see, but I look forward to that. Lots of possibilities, and it's such important work. I mean, most Canadians don't sense on a daily basis just the vastness of Canada and that you know our fellow Canadians are living up there and, and, uh, and the indigenous peoples uh, especially in the north so building those relationships and those ties is just so important. Well, we have we all have lots to learn and yeah. uh, and it isn't just a matter of us going up and saying well here's how it's, it's going to be going up and learning learning yeah. another culture other cultures and and uh, learning new foods and, uh, <laughs> and new ways of doing things and seeing, discovering ways that we might be able to support what goes on there right. or ways that, you know, they may be able to come to Hamilton and participate in the, the life of the church there. It's going to be interesting. Very good. Well, Bishop Crosby, thanks very much for taking time again out of your busy schedule well, to, to speak to us. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much, Sebastian. Wish you well. Mm -hmm.